I don't know about you, but I'm very excited for this. This is our first snowfall in two years. That's right, two years since we've seen our last inch of snow. Now we're talking about an inch and a half, maybe two inches in Calvert County right now. This is going to add up a little bit more as we move through the afternoon. I'm looking at it at just a little one to three inches before this transitions to a wintry mix and maybe some rain as we move through the evening time. Of Grand Forks, we're going to focus in on this storm near McVille. This does include the counties of Grand Forks and Nelson County until 6 p.m. This has been an observed tornado. So if you're in any of these areas, you want to make sure that you're in your safe place at this time. Lowest levels of your home, most interior portions of your home. And tomorrow you will be waking up the temperatures. Look at that 67 degrees. That is so pleasant. I'm I'm definitely going to be outside early in the morning. So good morning to get a walk on as well, because these are temperatures that you just won't have that often in July. And over the next five days, this area that we're looking at will be moving into the northern Gulf of Mexico. It's a very prime environment. Temperatures are nearly 90 degrees, which is very hot for any time of the year, especially as we're moving into this early part of hurricane season. Storms will be moving offshore. And so by the time we get to the second half of your weekend, it's going to be much nicer if you have any firework plans. You can do those on Sunday, but just wait until this cold front moves through. We're here in Boston, Massachusetts, where the scene could look like this in just a matter of hours a lot of heavy rainfall, damaging winds, and maybe even an isolated tornado or two. We've seen that just east of Buffalo earlier today. So here's our severe thunderstorm watch at this time, currently in effect until 8 o'clock Eastern time. This is more for the I-87 corridor and even extending a little bit more into Vermont. So we could see that advancement of the watches as we move through the evening hours. Places like Boston, New York, you really have to pay attention because any of these storms can produce damaging winds and some hail as well. Welcome back to Storm Center Live. I'm meteorologist Dorian Miner, getting you through the evening commute here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a very quiet evening, one of those we haven't seen in quite some time with afternoon showers and thunderstorms. But tonight we'll be gliding our way into the lower 70s, not much in the way of precip at all across the region. Metro Atlanta, anywhere from Rome, Blairsville, Gainesville, all of us are going to be dry this evening, except for south of I-20. We do have some heavier patches of rain moving across Auburn, across Columbus, but all in all, a very nice night across Metro Atlanta. To find your showers and thunderstorms, you do have to go along this boundary across New Orleans, Pensacola, and stretching into the Carolinas, where we do have a couple more severe storms, your stronger storms that could be producing damaging winds and some small hail just north of Savannah this evening. But the reason we have this, we do have our stalled front that's going to be just draping to the south over the next couple of days, and this is really going to be our focus point for our precipitation as we move through the weekend. So here's a look at Sunday for you. Much of the area, Atlanta and Birmingham is dry, but you will have to go closer to the coast to have that heavier rain. So places like Tybee Island, Charleston may be a little more of a wash out this weekend. So you may want to pack a poncho or an umbrella, something to keep you covered from the rain, maybe even take your plans indoors going into this weekend. But all in all, a very pleasant evening across Atlanta. Starting off with this evening, we do have some clouds out cover, but all in all, none of these will be producing rainfall, which is going to make for a very pleasant dinner plans. If you're trying to explore the stars, maybe you just missed the super moon yesterday, you will have some redemption with these cooler temperatures and clear cloud cover. So we do have temperatures that will be dropping into the upper 60s for some of us, 67 in Rome, 68 in Alpharetta. So temperatures that we really have not seen in quite some time for the summer. And then we're going to be warming up a little bit more as we move through the morning and afternoon hours. Temperatures fading even into the up 80s and lower 90s as we move through the afternoon and evening hours. So still very nice, a little bit sticky and a little bit warm still, but it will be very pleasant as we move through the evening hours for your Friday. But as we go into the weekend, we start to introduce the chances for showers and thunderstorms once again. So. Once again, not really the most pleasant of weekends, but not everybody will be receiving storms. So if you're caught in between any of these storms, make sure that you're being safe and make sure that you have multiple ways of receiving warnings because some of these as we move later in the weekend could be a little bit stronger and a little more severe. So stay right here on Storm Center and we'll have more updates for you going through tonight.